are so happy you are part of our Bootstrap Labs Applied AI Insider Series. And today we had a very important panel discussion on AI and trust and how we're going to iterate forward. You were one of our fabulous present, uh, panelists today. And can you tell us like just formally your name, your company, and just like a high level, uh, talk, talk us through what you presented with us today. Okay. So uh, my name is Misha Benoliel. I'm a co-founder and the CEO at a company called uh, Nodo. And uh, what we built with Nodo uh, is uh, a solution to actually fight fake news and uh, misinformation and disinformation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we believe it's a very pressing problem today. It's very urgent that we do something to uh, improve the quality of the content that we all come across uh, online. And uh, we have a solution for that. So we, uh, we have built a solution on top of our infrastructure, which is a, a platform that uh, combines mobile uh, and uh, blockchain. Uh, also, uh, we work with embedded systems. Uh, and uh, we have a way to authenticate media content, which is very easy to do. And uh, you can actually try it today. We uh, have also a solution for consumers. It's an app called the Click App. And uh, when you take a photo or video with the Click App, you can authenticate the content share it uh, on the internet and people can verify it's actually uh, real. So you can prove reality. You know, you, it's AI in the whole world is so intimidating and it creates a lot of fear. And when they have fear, there's fallout and people are like, oh, I don't even want to touch it. How did you even like, come up with the idea to bridge the gap and make, make it a safe place? <laughs> well, I, I think it's part of the evolution of the internet. Uh, the internet uh, was born uh, thanks to the decentralization of server. Today, we have everyone with a smartphone in their pockets. So you have information flo flooding to the internet and accessible from all over the world and from all these endpoints and produced by all these endpoints and all these smartphones. And, uh, and uh, today with AI, now you have machines generating content and pushing it onto the internet. So you have the internet with servers, then you have the internet and the mobile internet pushing so much information, contributing to push that information, making it accessible. Now you have machines with generative AI, generating that content, text, photos, videos, even music, push them to the internet. But the pace at which these machines generate content is uh, just uh, unbelievable. Like you have today the equivalent of 150 years of photography that has been generated by AI in just a year and a half. It's crazy, it's insane. So It's so mind blowing. So we have to do something to push more authentic content and content you can trust on the internet. And for that, we have a solution. And we use a, a method of authentication that combines provenance and, of the information and the data. Uh, we support a standard that's called C2PA, mm -hmm. uh, which is developed by the Linux uh, Foundation, Adobe, and promoted by the Content Authenticity Initiative today. It starts to be adopted by companies in the uh, the space like a uh, Nikon, uh, Canon, uh, Sony, or Leica, for example. Uh, even OpenAI was announcing they were going to uh, add the protocol to have a, a way to, to know the provenance of ima images generated with OpenAI. Mm -hmm. But that's not enough. And uh, we bring a big uh, complementary element to this, which is blockchain mm -hmm. technology, and also a, a network of digital witnesses. So when you take a photo or a video with our system, if someone is nearby or a system is nearby, so they can confirm that you were there at that time taking that photo or that video. It's so smart. It's so smart. I mean, it's it's so brilliant and complex, but kind of it's really simple. So thank you. So for try the click app. You can just uh, take a photo or video. It's one click. Mm -hmm. Then you swipe to sign your content. And then you can share it like a YouTube link on any social and people can verify the source of your content. I love it. It's so it's brilliant. It's brilliant. What, any key takeaways after you, get, you gave your presentation, you spoke with these other great panelists, anything that surprised you or you found interesting today? I think uh, a lot of interesting questions and uh, from uh, the, uh, that were answered by the panelists and uh, uh, but asked by our moderator and the public around trust and AI. So how do you add transparency to how an AI take a decision? I think it's very important. How, where the AI source their data is very important, especially in the enterprise world. And uh, so I think the, these two are, the coming topics are going to be, uh, I think, more and more, coming more and more often to, uh, to, 
because people will really need to understand how this system works. And, uh, and then it's like, uh, yeah, have a very critical mind. The same way you question what people are saying, we're going to have to question everything that's coming from an AI. Um, normalize critical thinking, and it's okay to ask, it's okay to poke holes through things and kick the tires, if you will, right? Exactly. Normalize yeah. critical thinking and also start to produce what we call deep reels, which is the opposite of deep fakes. I love it. Deep reels. All right. And the That's way great. to do that, you, uh, you can try tomorrow or now uh, by going on clickapp.com and you can test the technology and it's, it's starting to be implemented also with large enterprise. Oh, I love it. Perfect. So the same technology we have in the so click smart. app is going to be also implemented in some system like uh, with Aiden AI, where we are talking to that is hosting this event tonight. Uh, and, oh. uh, and we have a big announcement next week with a big media group actually using the technology to authenticate press releases. That is so yeah. smart. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, you, well, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a big deal. You have, a, a, especially when it comes to public information and public listed companies. I mean, we already saw companies losing, uh, having their stock plummet because of a fake press release. So uh, we need to authenticate the, more and more of the content that's shared online. That's the, basically the, the answer. I love it. It's perfect. It sounds incredible. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We are so happy you came today. Thank you.